Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the Extreme Tech channel guys For today's video I'm gonna show you a slip on flange on a 6 inch uh, carbon carbon line I don't know probably lots of lots of you guys are already familiar with the slip on flanges and I uh, did lots of works on them slip on flange also known as a uh, hub flanges have a hub with a very low profile this type of uh, flange is usually connected to a pipe by one or two fillet welds one from the inside and uh, one fillet weld from the outside uh, it's possible uh, to do a, just a single single bead as long as it's nice, uh, nice and profile weld as you can see I got a set up here in a pipe stand I'm just gonna roll it out I'm gonna do sections and roll with one hand do some welding uh, just a little tip uh, so when you tack do small tacks uh, when you tack from the outside uh, you don't have to tack inside but it's a good habit if you start welding first from the inside so from the inside the reason uh, the reason it's not it's not gonna move it's gonna stay square as it is but if you do from the outside it might just uh, go out of square so it's a little bit it's a good habit so for this uh, I'm using uh, 70 s6 uh, 1 8 uh, 140 150 amps uh, for first pass on uh, on a fillet weld it's gonna be like a first pass uh, nothing fancy just uh, just go nice and slow as I said it's on a pipe stand so I got to do sections just to roll it with one hand do weld the section then roll it again uh, I'm gonna do this from uh, two passes uh, as I said uh, this is gonna be the first pass just a little nice uh, nice first pass and, uh, and uh, for the second one just gonna go a little bit wider uh, for slip on flanges they're mainly used uh, for fluids at low pressure or with little risk of leakage uh, it's very common to find these flanges today in uh, cooling water lines firefighting water lines this is one example of the firefighting uh, water lines or the fire lines uh, low pressure compressed air lines and process light for substances such as uh, steam, oil, gas, condensate, etc. This is the first pass uh, I did. And now I'm just going to do a second pass. And uh, once, uh, once you finish inside with the second pass, then you can start welding outside. So for the second pass, uh, pretty much the same amperage, maybe 10 amps up, uh, around 150, 160. And uh, just try to go up to the edge of that uh, inside uh, uh, fillet edge. And uh, that's it pretty much. Nothing fancy, keep it simple. It is simple, it's not nothing fancy, it's just uh, something I did and I don't have in my... Uh, on my channel yet so I said why not uh, I know you guys like uh, uh, root videos and uh, walk in the cup and stuff like that but this is gonna be a little video just gonna add to my collection as I said nothing fancy keep that wrap up on the edge uh, try to go just up on the top of that edge and just stretch that puddle down keep try to keep the same uh, same profile as I said you can do even uh, even one one bid some guys like to do a stick like 532 for example or even 316 I don't know I don't rush I got time I like to do a TIG as much as I can even if I got option to do both and that's it pretty much uh, as I said nothing fancy keep it simple it's not uh, it's not for auction and now we're going to do from the outside so the same thing I'm going to do uh, two passes first I'm going to do one pass here I can go with a little bit more uh, higher amperage 160 uh, usually those lines are uh, even those uh, sleep on flanges are covered with the paint uh, good habit just uh, try to clean it really nice 
I did on the pipe, uh, I did on this edge for the fillet well, but I, I didn't uh, do proper cleanup on the top of that uh, flange, so that paint is burning and it's a good habit if you wear a respirator. So the same thing, just uh, make a nice uh, good first pass. As I said, you can go really hot. And that's it pretty much. I know some people struggle with uh, fillet welds. Uh, they got a hard time walking the cup or uh, uh, like if you go with a cup size 6 on this one, uh, it might give you a little, you know, it's not going to be that easy, but you can always try a bigger cap. Uh, for example, cup size 10 or 12 or even 20. Uh, depends, uh, depends from the brand. Uh, right now I'm using cup 8 on that uh, 6 inch flange. Uh, I think that's uh, good enough. Maybe I can go with the uh, 10. It'll be probably a little bit easier. But uh, as you can see, just go up, onto, up to that edge. And uh, it's a little bit uh, slow process with a TIG. Maybe faster with a stick, but uh, I like I like TIG. As this is a TIG channel and uh, all videos gonna be on TIG pretty much. Same thing, uh, 1.8 rod, as I mentioned before, 70S6, 160, 160, you can go even 170, 180 amps on this one. And just nice and stretch that puddle. Make it nice, uh, I like to have a nice, nice and uh, good looking uh, bit from outside. Uh, this is gonna be unfortunately covered in paint, in red paint anyway, so that's it that's it guys uh, this video uh, I hope you hope you like it hope you find some interesting here thanks for support so far and uh, see you in the next one take care